Southampton legend, it doesn't get better than this. Francis Manali's with me. Make sure you give him a follow on TikTok. I'm going to leave a link in the comments box below to follow Franny. Make sure you go follow him. What are your score prediction, mate, for today's uh, game? Well, the sun's shining. Um, I'm feeling positive, so I'm going to go for a 2 1 Saints win. 2 1 Saints win. Who's your goal scorers, Franny? Uh, I don't mind who gets them, but uh, let's have a think. I'm going to go for Adam Armstrong and. Uh, Jack Stevens, Adam, if they're in the lineup, I don't Adam know who's Armstrong playing. has been brilliant, hasn't he, to, yeah. uh, this season? 20 goals he's scored. He's been vital, hasn't he? Yeah, he's um, he's been outstanding right from the start of the season, as a lot of the players have. Um, but for me, I think I, I put something out uh, in my column this week in the Daily Echo and on my, my socials that uh, midweek Joe Aribo was just outstanding. Was I thought he was fantastic. Man of the match for many people I think so uh, maybe maybe I'll change the goal scorer I haven't scored <laughs> yeah. enough today I'll go for Jack and Joe if he's playing yeah I've enjoyed Joe, Joe Reba I think he could play a pivotal role in the, in the, in the running now seven games to go to warm things up if it goes playoffs do you think there's a slim opportunity of automatic promotion well Leicester City losing last night yeah. again so who knows what we uh, if we win our two games in hand on, uh, on the top two then uh, I think if my sums are right, is it four points behind them? Yeah. So if they have a little wobble, then uh, yeah, any, anything's possible. But you know, we want to be going into the playoffs uh, at the very least in in confident, um, in a lot of confidence, but with a bit of momentum as well. So if it's not automatics, a bit of confidence going into the playoffs. Absolutely. Thank you very much for joining me today. Pleasure. Danny, thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you give Danny a follow. I'm going to tag you in the comments box below in the description. Thank you for that. Yeah, he's a big TikToker. Uh, for all your Watford content, make sure you go give him a follow. What your score prediction, Danny? Southampton, Watford. Oh, I'm going to go with 2-1 Watford. I think the way we've been playing, um, you're under pressure. You need to get, because you're trying to go for a promotion fight. Uh, we've drawn to Leeds, we drew to Ipswich the other day, we should have beaten Ipswich the other day, we should have beaten Leeds, so I've got a feeling we're going to do it today. Yeah, a lot of Watford fans are really co confident. Uh, Tom Kalebley's coming in as your caretaker manager, unbeaten, not, give him not the job. Yeah. Give him the job, right? Watford, give him the job, because he's doing an unreal job. It's like Troy Deeney said on Sky Sports, he knows the players, the players respect him, he knows what he's doing, he's proven that, he's unbeaten, well, we've had five games, yes, four of them have been draws, but out of the two of the draws, I will take all day, so... Danny, I don't know the Watford fan until two minutes ago, and he said the style of football is so different as well, he's just playing more attacking football, yeah. having a go at teams. Yeah, because uh, pre previous managers we've had, we've uh, you know, gone one nil up, and then that's it, we sit back and defend and try and keep that 1-0 for the 90 minutes. He's trying to go for that second goal. And that's why I think today we're going to get it. I think if we go up, if we get 1-0 up, say in the first 10, 15 minutes, try and get the second goal. I think it's going to be a repeat of, do you remember the last time we played you in the Premier League? Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be a exact same not, repeat not of that a, one. Not a great day that was. Um, well, it was talk to me about your danger men. Who, who do we need to, as Southampton fans, mm. who are we looking out for today? Emmanuel Dennis. You know, uh, Has he been your player of the season? Well, he's only been here since January. Uh, Asprella as well. K King Ken Semmer as well. Can't forget him. You know, I think we've got a good squad. We just didn't have a manager that could play him. But now we have. And if we'd have had cleverly at the beginning of the season, things would have looked totally, totally different. Yeah, definitely. Um, you're kind of looking ahead to next season now. Um, and obviously, you've got to get your manager, managerial appointment sorted. If cleverly is a manager, you think he could, he could push you towards the... Uh, you know, the, the playoffs next season and promotion back to the Premier League because that's obviously where you want to go. It's a massive football club. Well, I thought at the beginning of this season, the way we started, cause we um, beat QPR 4-0, which is not really that hard to do, to be fair. I mean, you look at QPR, who are QPR, exactly. Um, but, yeah, I think he will. You know, he, know, he knows the club. Yeah. You know, previous managers we've had, they just brought some random bloke in and we've done poorly, sacked him. But they do turn managers over this lot, don't they? We do, but it's worked out in the past. It's just been the last few seasons it hasn't. But now, if you look at it, other clubs are doing it. You know, um, Plymouth, they've had that yeah. free manager. I think Stoke have had free manager. So, we are... We, we, yeah, we're, yeah, we talk about managers. You look at Birmingham City, they've gone through some managers this season, but they've ended up in a little bit of a mess. Exactly. So, you can't really say about Watford at the moment, because now other clubs do it. We, we're just known for doing Results it. Results-driven business, isn't it? Football. Yeah. Yeah, it is a business, you know, and 
they don't care about the fans. You know, I don't know about Southampton, but you look at other clubs, it's always been about making as much money as you possibly can. It's all about the money, isn't it? It's all about the money. You know, and I mean, it's, 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 it's a business. Football is now a business, you know. Yeah. That's what, look at Sky Sports, for example. They're the big, they're the worst one for it. Moving certain games, like you could be playing up in uh, Sunderland, they'll move that to a Monday night. Do they do they care about your fans? No, they don't. They just care about making that. Yeah, mate. I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope you enjoy St Mary's. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, Sunny. It's, it's warm. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I said the weather earlier. It seems to be cloudy, rubbish. But look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful down here at St Mary's. Thank you for joining me today. Thank Make you. sure you give him a follow. I'll leave your username so people can click through and give you a follow. Thank you. Very Thanks, much. Danny. Jamie, welcome along to St Mary's. Hope you had a good trip down. Yeah. Was it okay? Yeah, it was good, thanks. Yeah. Not You're here bad. for Saints Watford. Yep. You fancy your chances today? I do. I fancy our chances, yeah. Who's Even your made... goal scorers? Goal scorers. Vacuum Bio. I'm going for Vacuum Bio. Yeah. I was just chatting to some Watford fans a minute ago and they speak really highly of him. Talk to me about him. What's he like as a player? He's quite good. He holds the ball up quite well. He's got a good touch. Sometimes he's a bit weird, but on the whole, he's pretty good, yeah. Tom Cleverley's coming, unbeaten as manager, drawn 4 1 1. Yep. It's been done exceptionally well, hasn't he? Yeah, we're playing good football. It's more exciting to watch. It's a lot better. A lot I actually think it's quite a tough game for Southampton today. We've played, this is the fourth time we play you this season. Yeah. It'd be very different for Southampton today, wouldn't it? Yeah, last few times it's been 1 1 and you beat us here. So who knows? Who knows what could happen? Final question for you Do you think Tom Cleverley keeps the job at Watford as manager? You no, know, well, I don't think he will. I think the Pozos are looking for someone else. I reckon they will probably appoint someone else knowing what they're like. So, yeah. All the, all the fans want to keep him, so yeah. Yeah, they're all back, you know, all backing him. Yeah. Enjoy St Mary's today and enjoy Cheers. the sunshine. Thank Cheers. you, mate. You Praise along to the match day vlog. We're here at St Mary's for Saints Watford. Brandon, what's your score prediction? I think it's going to be a tight one today, but as long as we get three points, I couldn't really mind about the score. I think 2 1 for us. 2 1. Who's your goal scorers? I have a feeling Adam Armstrong, Shea Adams. Yeah, both been in good form, haven't they, this season? Shea Adams come inside and done really, really well. Uh, Ipswich. Dropped points in midweek. Leicester have dropped two, oh, six points, two games. Um, do you think it's a slim, slim chance of autos? As it says, the maths add up. At the end of the day, we're not out of it until we're out of it. And I think as long as we just keep on with the winning mentality, just keep good form, and if it's playoffs, it's playoffs. But I think the team are well collected at the moment. Yeah, no, we're in, it. We're in a good place. Thank you very much indeed, mate. <laughs> Welcome along to the match, Dave Log. Give me your score prediction. You, you joined us live as a guest on my TikTok live last night. Yep. We're doing TikTok lives for those that are tuning on it in on YouTube. On a Friday night, we do a TikTok live. You were our guest last night, and you give us championship score predictions. Yep. So for anyone that didn't watch that, what was your prediction for Southampton versus Watford? Three one. Three one. I want your goal scorers now, Ryan. I'm putting you right on the spot. Well, uh, Armour, Fraser, and Adams. Yeah, I like Adams, some good performances. Do you feel with the Leicester result last night give Southampton a small, small sniff of automatic promotion? Yeah, we have to win our next three games to stand a chance. Yeah, we need to win the next three games. Ryan, liking the shirt today. I uh, hope you enjoy the game. It's yeah. warm and sunny here, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's a beautiful day here at St Mary's. Saints take on Watford. We're around about two hours from kickoff. Keith, okay, thank you very much for joining me. You're a TikToker as well. I am. Give me your score prediction, mate. I reckon 3 0 Southampton. Can I have your goal scorers, please, mate? I reckon Adams is going to get two and Adam Armstrong is going to get one. Adam Armstrong has 20 league goals already. He's, he's on fire, isn't he? Going to be important in the, in the running. Yes. I hope he beats Smodic. He's doing for the well, Smodic. Top scorer, yeah. Smodic has been good. Leicester lost last night. It's very, very, very slim chance. And it's currently 0-0 in the early game as well. Yeah, it's currently 0-0 between Leeds and Blackburn Rovers as well. Everybody thought that Leeds were going to smash Blackburn. Yeah. The Championship is a funny old league, isn't it? It is indeed. You just never know what's going to happen. How, how much have you enjoyed this season? Russell Martin has done a good job here. I know he's took a little bit of criticism. I think he's done a really good job. I'm preparing this season to definitely last season. And part of me wants... Part of me wants to go up, but part of me doesn't at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's been great fun this season. I think <laughs> yeah. we've already enjoyed it. Thank you very much for enjoying me today. Enjoy You're the sunshine. It's a beautiful day here, isn't it? it? Beautiful day. It is indeed, yes. Thank you, mate. Cheers.
boys, regulars, we're going to run a little competition for the end of the season here on the Match Day Vlog on YouTube. I'm going to ask you six questions. You're going to get a point per question. Harvey, you're in. Yeah. Joe. Got your name. Joe's in as well. Right, so how many goals has Adam Armstrong scored this season? 19. 25? 19. Both wrong. He's got 20 goals this season. Zero points. Who scored the winning goal at St Andrews and in what minute did he score? Joe Evo, is it 96th? I would say Joe Evo, 95th. Harvey's right. One point to Harvey. It was, ni it was 90 plus six. Which season, year, season, did they win the Football League trophy? Southampton. Oh, it's 2012. 2011. Both close, it was 2010. 2009, 2010. Which teenage sensation at Southampton Academy broke through and went on to play for England? He's the youngest ever player to play from Southampton for England. It was in 2006. Luke Shaw? He played in 2006. Play for England. Lalana? No, it's wrong. Theo Walcott. Right, we've got one more question. Which year was Southampton Football Club founded? In 1886. 1888. Hope for it was 85. Oh. Harvey, you got three points. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, right, dude. we're going to take you on now to today's game against Watford. I want to get your score prediction. 3 1 Saints. Goal scorers. Adam Armstrong for two and Chad Adams for one. You feel a bit more confident, don't you, than, you, than when I saw you on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday night against Coventry. I keep saying Wednesday night, it was Tuesday night. Joe, your score prediction and your goal scorers? 4 2, Saints. It's going 4 2, Southampton. Goal scorers? Um, uh, Adam Armstrong scores one, Chad Adams scores two, and Suleiman comes off the bench to score one. He needs to score Salamana, yet to score a goal this season, £25 million worth of money that we spent on him, yet to score. Um, final thoughts, Leicester dropped points last night. Um, do you feel there's a very, very slim chance of automatic promotion? Yeah, yeah, massively confident. I think six games play, 18 points up for Gabba. I can see us winning all six games now. Second place is coming to us, I think, if we decided on the final game of the season. There's a bit of talk going on over there. Match Day Vlogs is over there, Brandon's over there, Leeds are playing Blackburn. I have a feeling that Blackburn may have scored. Have Blackburn scored? Blackburn, what? Smodic has scored for yes. Blackburn. Blackburn are leading. How long is left in the game, Brandon? How long's left? Eight minutes left. Leeds United are losing. There's a big chance for Southampton yes. today. The door is opening. It must win now. And going back to what you said about Sulemana, I still think he's being played in the wrong position. It has to be up front. Yeah, play him through the middle. It's, there's a bit of excitement building around St Mary's. Leeds are losing. Saints kick off in just under. 35 minutes, 40 minutes time. We're looking forward to the game. Thank you for joining me. I'm with Mike from Match Day Vlogs. Make sure you follow Mike. I will leave all the comments in the description below. Absolute legend. Good, good to you, Mike. Good score you prediction too. and some goal scorers for us. Score prediction today. Um, I'm going to go with a 2 0 win. Um, I kind of think that we've played them. Was this our fourth time playing Watford? Yeah, so, fourth time this season. Drawn to 1 1. So we uh, we should have their number, really. But um, but they're a tough side to beat. I mean, they're, what, unbeaten in five? Yeah. So, and I mean, they, they've taken a point off, what, Leeds and Ipswich recently. Yeah. So it's going to be a very difficult game for us. Will be, will be a tough game. A game that we you feel we kind of need to win now. We kind of slimmer of chance. You feel there's a very, very small chance of automatic promotion. The door opening slightly. Leeds could potentially drop points today. Leicester dropped big points last night. Do you feel the doors open slightly? Um, I don't know. It's the, it's the hope that <laughs> it's generates. Hope that you it's the you. hope, and, and I, I don't want to cross that line of going, yep, yep, it's on. But but who knows? I mean, I look at Leicester's running, it looks ridiculous now. I mean, they've yeah. got West Brom, ourselves. We have a massive um, say in this, don't we now? Yeah, we, we, we absolutely do. I mean, I just watch Ipswich and I watch Le Leeds and Leicester, and I just think, like, how are they not scoring these goals? I mean, for Leicester to go away, three on the bounce and not score yeah. something's going on there yeah. but um, but you never know this is football I mean it, it all depends on these next two fixtures for us if we you know we win here today uh, win on Tuesday night look it's wide open yeah Absolutely two massive open. games great atmosphere here today I feel there's a really good energy here though, if you feel it it just feels good yeah. again 
Yeah, no, it's good to be back here at St Mary's. I mean, it's, it's been great all season here, to be fair. I think the club have done a fantastic job to, to build the atmosphere pre-game and, um, you know, all the stuff that all us great content creators are doing to yeah. build the atmosphere going. So, um, so yeah, no, it's You've got good. The, f- the fan zone's brilliant as well, isn't it? It's such a cool place to come. Loads more families coming. First interview you did today, the young boy, never been to a game before. It's first really? ever game. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. I've seen loads of people like that today. So there's loads of people, first ever games today. It's, it's special football club, isn't it? It is a special. It's a, certainly a, a family community. I mean, I, I love walking into the ground and see sort of father and son, father and daughter combos with like wearing the matching We've got the shirt. mascot here as well. Get out. Oh, come on. Is it, is it Sammy or? We've got Sammy here. Yeah, we got Sammy here. We have take the mic. I'm going to 3-0 Southampton, aren't you? He says, up the tricky scummers. Yeah, up the tricky scummers. That's what he said. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Mike, thank you for joining me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Make okay. sure you give Mike a follow. Three Comments one. box below. Three He's three going 3-1. He's going three one. Three one. 3-1. 3-1. He's well up for it. Mike, thanks, mate. Really awesome. appreciate Cheers it. Up. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
for Watford in the five line quarters.
Frosty, how you doing, mate? Um, boy, I'm absolutely exhausted. I don't know about you. I'm okay, mate. Um, did you enjoy it first? Um, I enjoyed the first 15 minutes. Let me just let back in it. I don't. I don't feel we're under any pressure at all. I don't know about you. Yeah, uh, I'm. Look, I'll start by saying, limbs, absolute limbs. Yeah. I'm so happy to come away, especially with the weekend we've just had. Yeah. We've had a lot of drop points by a lot of the other sides, so I'm super happy with that. But yeah, like you say, 15, 20 minutes, we were superb. And much like the game on Tuesday, we just allowed them to get into the game minute by minute. Once they got that first goal, it always looked like it was going to be a bit yeah. hairy. And even the changes, I thought he went early with his subs. Yeah, he looked did. like he strengthened up, but it just was more of the same. The way we just kept going backwards is, is scary at times. Yeah, scary. They did. They, they found it really hard to find the pass from defence to midfield. Did you, did you notice that today? Yeah, which is really frustrating and weird because I thought Flynn Downs was superb again. Yeah. Uh, as he's been for most of the season, was my man in a match actually, Flynn Downs. So happy for him to get his goal at the end there. But yeah, I just don't I just don't get it. I'm not sure what's missing. I'm not sure if he needs an extra man in midfield. I don't know, I don't know. There's no real outlet at the end. The fans down where I were, we were screaming at Harwell Bellis to make the long pass. Everyone A 2-1. Um, he listens to the fans. He, he's, he wasn't under any pressure. He's lumped it long. They've come back and scored straight away. Yeah. I could see it coming. I don't know about you. Uh, it's, a, it's a frustration. I'd like to see the Fraser offside because obviously we are at the we were at the complete tight. other end, but I'm not sure. But look, we got over the line. Ipswich yeah. drew today. That came through. That was good. Surprise result with Blackburn. Yeah, massive so look, result. We're, we're, we're very much involved. Yeah, we are ridiculously involved now, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, very much. What's that, seven points now? Yeah, seven Off points. To two two in hand. Um, we just got to go and win the game. It's all about Leicester now, yeah, right? Yeah, massive, massive one here Tuesday night. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling about that one? It's going to have to be defensively a bit better. I think we have to be defensively better for the rest of the season. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's been the biggest problem, I think, for large portions of this season. But listen, when we go forward, there's not a team that can really hang with us. Not really. We're so very good. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep cheering and let's see what happens. Southampton are right in this automatic promotion race. I hope you enjoyed the match day vlog. We'll get some more interviews now. Doing SFC vlogs, go give them a follow on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description in the comments box below. Ethan, wow. Phenomenal. I mean, Flynn Downs, once again, the late, late, late. Oh, I can't even speak. Late, late, late. Late, late, late show. Late, 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 late show this time. 97th minute. A phenomenal, speechless. Flynn Downs, phenomenal. He done really well at the end there. Um, two new up, Ghost in Saints. So on top, yeah. um, they let back in it. What went wrong? I don't know. I mean, last 20 minutes, we let Watford come back into the game so much. I mean, the Kone's goal, I have no idea. I didn't really see it, to be honest. It was just a roll into the keep. Fast Bazunu. Um, honestly, I think you can tell I'm speechless. Yeah, I, I can't believe what I've just witnessed. I just, I haven't got the words for it. Just the emotions and the roller coaster is quite unbelievable here at times. Yeah, it's phenomenal. I mean, we've had, what? How many times have the late late show struck now? Millwall. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant result. Southampton are right back in it. Ipswich have dropped points today. Uh, one one against Barra. Leeds lose to Blackburn at home. Leicester lost to Plymouth last night at home park. Saints are back in it easily back in it I mean we were saying on the live with Leicester losing yesterday it's brought us right back into it and I believe Automatics is still on yeah I do I think it's well and truly on now how big is Tuesday night Tuesday's massive I mean we've got to beat if we beat Preston we beat Cardiff and then we beat Leicester we're right back in it and I can think we'll get promotion yeah no I think you're right Ethan thank you welcome along to my match day vlog coming to an end of the, of the, of the vlog and getting reaction from the fans Speechless. Everybody's speechless here. Yeah, I know. I thought it was going to be another long trip back to Devon after a... Uh, oh, you come from Devon? We have this afternoon, yeah. So, um, yeah, but so we can see it all going wrong again. <laughs> Passing the ball around, giving it away, and uh, it was looking like a disaster. But, yeah, 98th minute, 99th, wasn't it? 98th. A late, late, late show. Yeah. Horrible, horrible. So, uh, yeah, no, it was a sweet win. Gets us three points, doesn't it? Can, uh, get a man we... of the ma can I get a man of the match or both of you? I would say the referee. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so hard, but I would say that probably Harwood Bellis, probably. Yeah, he looked pretty steady. I thought that Jack Stevens, I think they all need a little bit of a talking to, but that's the, the manager's way of playing, isn't it? Yeah, they they find it really hard to make the, the, the pass of defence to the midfield today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we sort of want uh, Stuart Armstrong to start, you know, yeah. every game, because he gives 100% always. But when he came on today, he's a little bit not with it yeah. I mean, Fraser when he came on he was a little bit not with it yeah the substitutes weren't great today were they no, but really. actually Ryan, Ryan Manning I thought made the difference yeah. that sort of steadied us on that um, at the back and the left hand side at the back and uh, let us move forward again so it, it cut that guy at Sprilla who had some 
reaction for them. He looked deadly. He was horrible to defend yeah, against. He just needs to like, up his pace a bit more as well, you know, because it's almost like he's in a jog all the time rather yeah. than a sprint, you know? Yeah. Just like he knows I still think get... he looks better when he plays it right back. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, he knows he's going to get the ball, but it's just like, all right, yeah. Give it to me, all right, I'll do my stuff. It doesn't. It's a know? big six games now. We've got oh, Preston man, here on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about it? Do you think we're, we're, we're back in the promotion we're race? We're back in the promotion. Um, Ipswich have uh, gone and let themselves down. So Middlesbrough got a draw this afternoon. That's Leeds. 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 Massive Leeds. end of the season. Uh, Massive uh, end of the season. Uh, yeah, They're all we're bottling it one by one. Yeah, and then yeah. there's those of us who want to stay down. So I'm quite happy where we are, really. Well, we saw the Plymouth game last night on the TV, you know, for uh, Leicester to lose, which is excellent for us as well. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, nice and sweet. So I, like, I, I don't want Argyle to go down, so that'd be horrible. Same, I want Argyle to stay down. Yeah, they're a lovely green oh, army, so yeah, but we, we're in the chance. We, we're, we're there. We're in with the chance. Saints are in with the chance. Gentlemen, safe trip back to Devon. Jack! Jack is back on the match day vlog. Welcome along, mate. Um, final reaction here from St Mary Southampton. Late, late, late show. Flynn Downs pops up and scores for Saints. Abs absolutely phenomenal. At the death. A absolutely phenomenal, mate. He was brilliant. That goal was just. I can't speak, sis. I'm absolutely speak, sis. Yeah, man of the match. Give me a man of the match today. It's Taylor Holbert Bellas. Yeah, he's quite top quality, isn't he? Will Smallbone for you. Good today, wasn't he? He was brilliant. He was just phenomenal. But absolutely, for me, for me, one of the best players we've had. Saints are right back in the automatic promotion push now, aren't they? Massive game here Tuesday. Will you be here? No. You're going to miss it. I'm going to miss it, mate. It's a big game for Saints, isn't it, Tuesday night? It's a massive game for Tuesday night. Yeah. Massive. If we beat Preston, then we'll be flying high. Saints are right back in it. Thank you very much for joining me. Albie's with me. Thank you for joining me, mate. Give me your thoughts on today's game. Breathless, speechless. Uh, strong first half, I think, Percy. The second half started lacking to that win our first, I think. No, that's quite lucky. Took foot off the gas big time, didn't we? Yeah, we've been doing that this season, really, isn't it? We have a strong first half and drop down the second half. Yeah, give me your man of the match. Who who shone for you today? Who was your oh, who was the main man? Ashby Flynn Downs, just that winner. Class, isn't he? And over, overall performance is quite good, yeah. Yeah, overall he was he was brilliant today. Ipswich have dropped points today, Leeds dropped points, and we Leicester well. dropped and Southampton again get maximum points. Um we're back in this now big time. Yeah, I think we could go all the way if we carry on with this form of winning instead of like losing and dropping points. Saints take on Preston North End here on Tuesday night, how big's a game? Um, game in hand. Massive, massive. We win that, I reckon we'll carry on with the winning form and hopefully win the league. Get yeah. Port Max. Yeah, I've got a good feeling about it. Thank you for joining me, mate. Charlie, oh, I saw you before. I've lost my voice. Um, lost for words. What do you say about the game? You've got number four written on your cheek, Flynn Downs. He scores the winner. Yep, he played really well for that winner. Yeah, he was good. What did you think of the game? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. A bit nerve wracking at times, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. What, do you get any shirts today? No. no. He desperately wants Flynn Down's shirt, so Flynn Downs, you're tuning in. He really wants your shirt. He's got your, got your number on his cheek. He's had a banner for you as well. Um, big game on Tuesday now, what do you reckon? Preston North End here at St Mary's. I bet we'll win that one. Do you reckon we'll win it? Yeah. Leicester lost last night. Leeds lost today. And Ipswich have drawn with Middlesbrough today. Southampton are back in the automatic pro promotion race, aren't they? Yeah. Think we can do it? Yes. Yeah, Charlie thinks we can do it. I think we can do it. Going to be here on Tuesday night? Yeah. He's going to be here. Charlie, thank you for joining me, mate. 